hi guys okay i hope you are doing great and so in our today's video um we'll continue with with learning how to do academic writing and in this case i'll be teaching you how to use grammary and as i said before grammary is used to not actually to check because you should first check your work and um try to correct your grammatical errors but grammar is used to uh, like um to enhance your work and at least help you in identifying some grammatical errors that you have made and probably you didn't know you know such mistakes uh, did exist so what you're going to do uh you have your word document here and you have written it it's complete you have proofread it you know it's okay you think it's okay what do you do so what you do you go on your google and search for grammar but again the grammar i'm using it on premium so you have to pay for it so what do you do you go to your word document you highlight all that is control a then again cut then from cutting go to grammar and then you're gonna paste then you paste it there so um i don't know what is happening they paste yes it's already there sorry sorry so you paste your work on grammar and then you guys as you can see here is my work here is my work and again you can see uh 13 these are all suggestions coming here we have an overall score of 98 we've got five alerts we have you see here there's clarity engagement delivery and all those so coming here it suggests for me here rather than using his or her i should be used there so if i agree with that i'm gonna click on the green part then again here we have end and they're suggesting there should be a comma before the word end if i agree with that again i should click it uh click the green part um in some situation uh they would suggest for you to um, they would suggest for you to like um they can suggest something and maybe you feel it's not okay i think i'm going to, to do an example about that uh for here then again um i click that i agree with the correction they want me to use color i agree with that again i should use in rather than is 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 whatever different should not be there that is what they are, that is their suggestion um guys let's assume for example they have suggested that i should get rid of this that are and um maybe i feel i shouldn't after reading my sentence i feel this one is not okay so what should i do i should come over here on this on this what can i call it these things like that looks like a dustbin it's a dismiss so i'm going to if i don't agree with the suggestion they are giving it to me i'm going to dismiss yeah it is then let's assume i realize it's a mistake i'm going to undo very fast so that it takes me back and then maybe i can agree on the suggestion so here they are saying there is a sentence fragment this sentence uh, this appears to be a sentence fragment consider writing it is a complete sentence so once you see something of this sort it shows that your sentence have some issue you can try writing it again so what am i going to do um after i leave grammar and go back to my word document i would i'll make sure i note this paragraph and then i'm going to read through my sentence and again try to you know try to write it again because probably there is an issue with you know how i have constructed my sentence so for now i'll just ignore it dismiss it but i will note it somewhere then later i'll go back to it um and you guys i want you to note something at the beginning uh i had a score of 98 so as we continue correcting you know the mistakes um we're gonna notice that you know the um, the performance the overall score is going to increase you can see for example here uh they are saying that i should get rid of as well as they're saying the phrase as well as maybe why they consider changing the word but for me i feel maybe it's okay i don't want to change it that is how i feel because maybe i have my own reasons 
probably because I want to get to the word count, so this can be a trick. So I'm going to dismiss this. But if I, if I feel it's okay, then you know I can consider it. Then here is an issue. This is where we talked about passive voice here. I have an issue. You see, this work has an issue of um um they need this whatever to be written in, in active voice. Although we talked about the work should never you should never use um passive voice. So this one I will consider it later. I'll try to check it again. So this is how you go about grammary. And then uh, within no time, get done with our suggestions. And you see now it's clear. And they said, great job. You see? So we are done that way. So immediately after you are done, um, after you are done with the grammar, what do you do? You're going to go and highlight everything that is control N. Then again, cut your work. Guys, never, never, never leave your work on the internet because someone might upload it somewhere and eat your work and, you know, there might come some issues like plagiarism or someone might use the documents, you know. So what you do, we have, we did cut the work from Grammarly. Then we're going to go back on our Word and then we're going to paste Ctrl V. And there it is. And you, I want you to notice something. Uh, after we took our work to Grammarly, um, like how we had uh, formatted our work in terms of font, you know, uh, in terms of font, it comes back different. So again, uh, you need to you know to format the work um in the right manner. So uh for the grammar, that's it, guys. And uh, I think later I'll come back with another video um doing about formatting. How are you expected to do the formatting? How should you present your paragraphs? What fonts should you use? And all those. And so, guys, uh, thank you so much for. And um, if you guys haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up, and um, also comment is good because I wanna know how how are you guys proceeding? What challenges are you facing? Because with this, it's gonna help me improve my videos, and uh, you know, try to help you more. Thanks, thank you guys, and see you next time. Bye bye.